Bell helicopter crews and Army crews went to Fort Hood ranges on two occasions to fire the machine gun and rockets. Support from the 2nd Armored Division allowed maximum utilization of the range. Techniques were perfected to use the mass-mounted sight television and thermal imaging sensor for close and long-range engagements. Machine gun firing at all ranges was totally successful. Hydra 70 submunitions training rockets were fired at targets from 2 to 5,000 meters. This warhead explodes above the target at a range set in the cockpit. Three smoke bombnets are seen on impact. A slight nose up launch technique is used by the crew to achieve proper trajectory at the longer ranges. It's off to the right. Look, no, there's some of it right there. Right at the base of it. Look, right there. Missile system testing was conducted at an offshore range concurrent with the gun and rocket testing. The first Hellfire engagement was on a stationary target several thousand meters from the aircraft. Each Hellfire was guided to the target by the OH-58D's laser designator. One, go. Subsequent engagements were against small motorcraft cruising at 20 knots and faster, a difficult target for any weapon. The air-to-air -air Stinger missile was previously qualified on the OH-58D, but these engagements confirmed the weapon's versatility. A heat source was suspended above the boat cockpit on the first shot. second stinger engagement, the heat source was placed in the cockpit with devastating results. 